when we have a negative power, when we have a negative quantity that's raised to a power, so negative 2 raised to the power of 3, nothing really changes. We just have to keep track of what's going on with the signs. So negative 2 times negative 2, if I were to just look at that part, I'm going to be multiplying a negative by a negative, and so negative times a negative becomes a positive. And that would give me what? Negative 2 times negative 2. The 2 times 2 part gives me a 4. So this is a positive 4. But now I'm also going to be multiplying this result by negative 2. So now I'm dealing with a, neg er, a positive times a negative. When you're multiplying two quantities that have opposite signs, the result is going to be negative. So 4 times 2, that gives me 8. So my answer is negative 8, and so the answer here is A.